Andy Emilio for ES News. We're here with Maurice Hooker. Uh, man, I gotta ask, champ, you had a great performance last time around. Um, there's so many champs at 140. Let me just uh, pick your brain right now. You got Regis, you got Jose Ramirez, you got Ivan Baranchek. The pecking order. Right. Where does it stand right now? Who do you have your eyes on? I'm my eye on everybody. I'm watching everybody. Right now, everybody tied up. Everybody in the tournament. Uh, Jose Ramirez getting ready to fight. I'm the only one just waiting, you know. So I'm gonna take me a fight maybe in July. And, uh, stay busy. You wait for the tournament over or Jose Ramirez gonna fight. I've got to get your immediate reaction to this fight that just happened yeah. right now. Terrence Crawford, Amir Khan. Does Amir Khan get the benefit of the doubt? He's been a warrior his whole career. Right. Did he quit or was this something really? You're a fighter. You right. oh, only you know. Like, is there a shot that can hurt down there that can put you out? I feel like if you can get up from a, a low blow, you got, you got, you, you can fight. Mm. If it hurt that bad, he stay down. But I respect Amir Khan. His whole career, he fight everybody. But this fight right here, I kind of lost my respect for him because wow, he okay, quit. he gave up. There weren't many 147 guys ringside, but Kell Brook was in the building. Yes. If Terrence Crawford fought him, he would have an opponent in common with Errol Spence. Right. Do you think that's a good matchup? And who do you who do you want to see get in the mix with uh, Bud Crawford? Crawford right now is one of the best. Errol Spence is my guy from Dallas. He's one of the best. Right. Uh, I think Terrence Crawford would beat everybody in 147. But I want to make EJ, because I can go both of them. Both of them are my guys. It'll be a good fight. I'm both of them. Is there a fight that you'd be willing to take and go up in that weight class where all the money fights are at? 140 got nice, great champions. Yeah. Obviously, if you're a boxing fan, you know Regis, yeah. you know all these guys, but the big names, Manny Pacquiao, Keith Thurman, you know, are, are you interested in any of those guys? I don't fight anybody 147, but my bros, but, but Terrence Crawford and uh, Ernest Spence. Me and my I will fight, you know. Uh, why not move over and fight? But right now, I want to take over 140 and get my name out there and want for it to take over. Some guys have, there's a lot of different goals for every boxer. Some guys want world titles, some guys want to be pound for pound, unified, undisputed. What's your goal right now, immediate future? I want to be pound for pound. I want to all the bills like Terry Crawford did. He want all the bills in 140 mm. before he moved up. I want to do it, I'm doing it next. That's my goal, to be the best 140 guy. Now, you're one of those guys out there that, you know, you're right there, you're champ at 140, but still not recognized by the boxing world just yet. What do you think you have to do, and what do you think is underrated about yourself? Uh, my underrated, I haven't been seen a lot, you know, a lot of people know a lot about me. I need that big name. I need to find a guy with a big name to get my name put, like Mikey Garcia or somebody like this. All right. A big guy with a big name, and everybody know. Then once I beat him, everybody know I am that guy who for it. I will be that boogie man. I, I will be the best. Mikey Garcia is somebody who had who uh, fought Sergey Lipinets at 140, yeah. so um, that's a makeable fight. Is that something that you would campaign for? You and Mikey Garcia? Let's do it. Why not? I want the best. You know, I don't care who you is. If, you, they, if the fans say you the best, why not? Why not fight? Let everybody know where they can find Maurice Hooker on all your social medias, etc. Maurice, Mario Hooker on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Champ, thank you for your time.